Hello, what up? It's your boy Zite, and today I just want to go a little bit in depth on how to maximize your gold while fishing in Classic World of Warcraft. Now, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but you can catch Knife and Snapper in Zolgarub, Sulphurok, and Dire Maul. Usually, I actually, on the internet, I found a source saying that it was not time gated within uh, the Temple of Atalhakars, uh, also known as Sunken Temple. So I fished here for a good 30 minutes during a time that was unavailable. And I think that it's accurate to say that this is not possible and the information I found is incorrect and I debunked that. So the first thing I want to talk about real quick is stone scale eel. You can pretty much do the strategy I'm going to show you any time of day, any time of the year. The uh, other fish that I'm going to talk about a little bit is uh, knife and snapper and winter squid. Now, knife and snapper, I usually, personally, I only tend to uh, try and catch knife and snapper uh, at midnight to 6 a.m. Because that's the best time to catch them. Uh, I generally, if I'm not farming knife and snapper at that time, I'm always pretty much going stone scale eels. Because you can get a lot from the pools that are valuable as well as themselves. Winter squid, I think, is actually the most valuable fish uh, in the game at any given or not any given point in time but after the the summer season hits people are going to start selling their winter squid and then the supply is going to start getting really limited and then winter squid are pretty much going to be the top selling fish on your server at some point during that time so if you catch them during the winter they might not sell for much but i would definitely save them knife and snapper like I said here on screen, um, I usually only catch them at 12 to 6. Uh, you can catch them at the end of the time other than 12 to 6 at night. Um, sun, sun sell salmon, um, they take a place. So here, I'm just going to show you a few prices just to kind of demonstrate, you know. So this server, the prices are pretty much irrelevant because they're going to change based on server to server. But this is just a little bit goes to show of like how valuable it is compared to a couple of the other prospects. So here I'm showing off gl grilled squid. I actually buy this shit a lot, to be honest with you. I buy this a lot for just the 10 agility as a rogue. The other top sellers. Um, another thing to note is the time or day of the week that you sell some of these items. Um, could net you more profit uh, the stone stale eels on screen um they're a lot cheaper than what i sold uh mine for a lot of the times i'll sell them a lot of people will raid on friday for example and you would usually try to sell your products during the daytime before the raid or right before the raid um knife in actually you could just straight up make money off knife and buying knife in and making soup out of it right here right now so to move on from the price comparisons, we're going to talk about where to catch fish, specifically starting with knife fin. Um, so here on screen, you can catch a, either two these two pools in Alterac Valley. Now, I absolutely hate this, that you can fish in Alterac Valley, but it is what it is. So here, I'm just fishing up. A lot of people do this. It's actually one of the like AFK Alterac Valley me methods to make gold. Um, if I was a mage... I definitely wouldn't be fishing in Alterac Valley. I would uh, definitely just be in the Black Lotus race. Uh, Black Lotus spawns in the middle of Alterac Valley every single game. And pretty much if there's a bunch of mages that know what they're doing, any other class wouldn't even be in the race. So most mages wouldn't fish in AV. They'd just be herbing. Herbing isn't another good thing, but this isn't herbing. But this is me fishing at the Alliance just for a little bit of footage, just to show it off. The... The lines pool is just a little bit larger. Fishing in AV is popular. I, at some points, I was fishing out here in Altrac Valley. I had like five horde players next to me all fishing night fin. But it's only catchable between t midnight and 6 in the morning. So it's like an AFK Altrac Valley strategy. Um, sometimes players won't even attack you while you're fishing. Um, I've been on the horde side and just been absolutely neglected, left to fish. But you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful because sometimes it happens. You could easily get ganked. So here I am in Moonglade. <clears throat> Basically, I fish in Moonglade a lot. I I wouldn't suggest fishing in Moonglade. Um, I don't remember it being good in actual vanilla, 
it didn't seem very good on the private server I was testing it on it, it didn't seem very good at all um, I fished for like 20 minutes and then I fished out of here and caught a knife in out of this little pond in my first try if you see my chat log I have a lot of not knife ins. so as Char is another place I really really like the only thing that is wrong is you need 425 to uh, not catch so you you generally need some of the things on screen or use the expensive bottle so the only reason I really really like this spot is because there's a black lotus spawn right over on this hill right next to me you're gonna see a mountain silver sage spawn and it's gonna come up fast and someone's gonna come claim it fast so basically there's a black lotus spawn right on top of that mountain silver sage and I've been lucky enough to get it one time but personally I don't actually fish here but if you're interested it's usually not contested usually nobody bothers me and you might score yourself a free black lotus or mountain silver sage so moving on to for Alice. so everywhere that's not circled that's a pool you can catch nightfin everything that's circled is where you would get stone scale eels if I was hoard I would suggest this fishing here as these two players are this stream tends to have a really really good catch rate for nightfin I like it a lot I actually fished in a lot of spots in Faralis just to check. This particular spot was giving me double stone scale eels, which is a coastal fish in this little inland pool. There's just me fishing more spawns in Faralis. I generally don't fish in Faralis. If I was a fish knife in Faralis, I would definitely do the first spot. If I was Alliance, I'd probably just fish another random pool because it would work just as well. However, I prefer Ashara. Usually I fish over by these elites. Uh, Ashar is my favorite zone to fish in by far overall. And usually I, I, I've actually never been killed at this pond. I don't even know if anybody comes here. But the knife and snapper rates are pretty good based on the uh, data I collected or just fishing over time. <clears throat> so moving on to stone scale eels. Here is pretty much where I uh, fished them at at Steam Riddle Port. You would just run up and down the coast by Steam Riddle Port and you would find the spawns. Um, Firefish Snapper and Orly Blackmouth also appear here, and you can free fish them. Generally, um, I use this spot to level from 200 to 225, as I tend to level my cooking with my fishing up to about that point, and then I just uh, veer off and go for gold. This spot's really good for stone scale eels. I also usually just free fish any pool that I see, but I aim for the stone scale spawns. Now, an even better spot for stone scale eels SR like I said so the pool I circled really far below down in the middle that's for knife and everywhere else even like the random pools pretty much like the whole bear storms area all right so here I am I'm trying to explain my stone scale eel strategy so if you're absolutely by yourself and you had no competition you would fish out this spawn right here and then run over here to this other spawn that's pretty close and fish it out. I think this is a, the absolute best strategy to get the maximum stone scale yields possible. Typically there's somebody else trying to compete but if there's nobody I would just go back and forth between the two spawns. Um, I want to talk a little bit about like PvP and ganking etiquette a little bit here. Um, a lot of times people won't actually bother you um, if you were to attack me and then let's say you killed me I might get upset or you know vice versa me to them and come back and gank and then both of us lose gold per hour so a lot of people won't bother each other but if we decide to share it could be same faction opposite faction it would be best for us to either go back and forth from pond or stone scale eel spawn to stone scale eel spawn with each other and leave them on like a reverse like this one's up that one's up this one's up that one's up and go back and forth together than it would to be to split in my opinion but I still think splitting is easier if there's a, a third person involved then if both of them are going back and forth from spawn to spawn, I would really, really prefer to not move and just free fish where the spawn spawns, where the stone scale eel swarm spawns. So 
there's another strategy where you actually, if you don't, if one person splits, like if I decide I want to split with somebody and then a third person shows up and you guys remain splitting where he fishes out his spawn, you fish out your spawn and the guy's running back and forth, that's really inefficient and you don't want to do that. But if you split it this way where I get this spawn, this stone skill ear swarm, and he gets that one, I can run to this oily black mouth pool, fish that out, then run back to this, the eel spawn and fish that out, and do that, and then I can keep those spawns. But if you're solely after stone scale, or the oily black mouse aren't really selling at the time on your server, depending on the demand and... I usually would just stick to uh, the stone scale eels. I generally wouldn't even bother with the oily black mouse. I'll just sit and free fish over the spawn. And a lot of the times they'll just spawn under your bobber and you can fish it out really fast. Now the stone scale eel spawns also drop strangle kelp and rumsy rum black label. Now the rumsy rum black label give 15 stamina for 15 minutes. It's really sought after in raids. A lot of people will buy it. It's really high in demand. And you could generally make a lot of money off the strangle kelp and the Rumsey Rung Black Label. And it's really efficient to fish the stone scale eels. You could fish a massive amount of gold per inventory. Generally, I come here and actually one day I fished, I made over a thousand gold fishing. I, I kind of sort of paid attention, listened to music, and, and chatted with a bunch of different people and made quite a bit of gold now also the pool behind you is also coastal and all those little little caverns right there that I was just pointing over um, a lot of people fish those a lot of those pools will be claimed so basically that's I had to record this like two or three times I didn't explain it as I, nearly as good as I did the first time but my audio got messed up and it's it's 8 a.m. so I really do apologize but if you stuck around this long, uh, really just smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Give me a subscribe, follow. Um, when Classic goes live, I'm going to be streaming. I'm also going to be uploading every other, every other day, I think, up until Classic launch, as much as possible, as long as work permits. So this particular guy noticed I was fishing, and he just wanted to push me off of it. But I was just making a video, so I wasn't really worried about it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys.